Gitmo, Guantanamo Bay Detention Camp. Current events are urging that we mop out some of those old rooms for new occupancy. Hamas has a clear and present presence in the good old USA, self-identifying too, like gender, very good of them, with their I am Hamas. That's their pronoun. We, we are Hamas. In olden days long ago, there was a war on terror, specifically Muslim Islamist terror, where they went around blowing up buildings and planes and trains and buses and open air markets and preschools and old people's homes and discotheques and synagogues. Some of them were called, uh, well, I'm forgetting, undocumented combatants, illegal, is that it? Illegals sounds familiar, but something about not wearing a uniform? Anyway, these hombres just loved bombing and poisoning and beheading. I'm talking about Gitmo now, not Hamas right now, not the vast, vast drug cartels, not right now. Hamas loves all of that too, rockets and raping and microwaving, well, you know what or who. And here it is again. What rolls around... The left, of course, of course, vowed to close down Gitmo because terrorism is a civil right and part of the open exercise of religious freedom and Islamist gender identity, which is the highest form of patriotism. Obama promised it closing Gitmo. He was super. The races are united and the climate is cured. We were the change we were waiting for. Yes, we could. Thanks, Obama. You were like Jesus. But to take off my dunce hat and put on my common sense cap, how do we deal with blood enemies? Understand their childhoods? That's a small part of understanding them, but more important than understanding is what we do about the problem. We're not talking about art or some opinion. Reality. We deal with blood enemies by stopping them. How they are stopped is incidental. Gitmo is exile. It's banishment for people not fit to live among civilized people. An island in the midst of the lake of fire is beyond the pale for some reason. Perhaps a few moments too many passed after some terrorist was caught in his atrocity, so summary execution just didn't feel right. Exigent circumstances grew stale and bureaucracy took over, so be it. Some other, more terrene island will have to do. Gitmo, then, rather than instant transportation to an island in hell, compliments of battlefield justice. Obama, so weird, just became a more sonorous bush. He kept Gitmo, broken election promise. He kept virtually all of Bush's policies, re-Iraq and Afghanistan and rendition, military tribunals with state secrets and denial of habeas corpus, and predator drone attacks, and the Patriot Act, and wiretaps, and email intercepts. Riffing on FDR, Charles Krauthammer, said Obama, had a first-class intellect and temperament, and a third-class character. But intellect is more than manipulating words into portentous-sounding sentences like this one. Intelligence needs to express correct ideas clearly. Character shapes intellect. It has to do with the discipline of pursuing truth even if you disagree with it. We should weigh evidence according to past experience rather than idealism and theory. Thus the mass, mass protests, anti-Israel, pro-Hamas, the terrorists, they think they're right. The very immature and ignorant protesters, unemployable students studying subjects that are useless garbage, so very young, or the older, useful idiots, plus their puppet masters, cynical Islamist terrorist Hamas and Iran. How do we decide what's right? Jesus talks about turning the other cheek and about ocean bottoms and millstones tied around necks. He talks about hell. You don't get an infinite number of chances to be wrong. You get the duration of your lifetime. Then you get your eternity. So how do we deal with terrorists? In a harsh and civilized way. Effectively and according to rules. Thus, Gitmo. Banishment from human society. But so what? Like, dude, why am I yammering about Gitmo? That was like forever ago. Nothing to do with now, right? Except there are so many crimes and so few cells. 
like this current lot, pro-Hamas, blocking bridges and freeways and occupying their own lefty universities, why are they still walking around outside of prison walls? Even Obama somehow was American somehow enough to still at least pay lip service to rule of law. All this long time later, in this our age of defund the police and get out of jail free and no such thing as felonies except for the holy day of January 6 and its orange man, in this new age, the Jan 6 era, with Biden's fine people in Hamas, I'm sure he said that, mumbled it, how, how, I muse, are we to protect our Jewish students, our roads and bridges? And don't get me started about protecting borders. Well, Ukraine's borders are 51st state. How, how to protect the rule of law, the most vital of American traditions? We just have to hope that history really does work in cycles far to the chaotic, hateful left and swing back to the center. We've never had a rightist terror. There are always abuses right and left. The Palmer raids after World War I and HUAC and McCarthyism. The commie infestation was real, but McCarthy was not entirely honest. And now Biden and his federal instruments and complicit media and corporations and blah, blah, blah. How to fix this? This lack of rule of law, actual law? Light, more light? Louder and clearer and educational condemnation? Faith and patient waiting? The Democrat Party is about castration and abortion as it has been about slavery. But that really would only be maybe 10 to maybe 30% of them, the inevitable worthless third. The rest are just intellectually lazy and haven't thought it through. Immaturity, that cliche that a conservative is a liberal who got mugged. Is old lady Pelosi a conser conservative yet? You know, her husband at her front door getting hit on the head with a hammer? Some depravity is invincible. But that's not all Democrats. Are they embarrassed yet? Some are shameless, so embarrassment doesn't apply. They pick the strangest things to be passionate about. Abortionism, anti-defense, carbon, tranny and terrorist rights, whatever. People who exercise or own dogs are racist. Odd, odd things. But the opposite of defense is not offense. The opposite of defense is defeat. Gitmo was not an offense or an offense. There is a devil's island because there are devils. Is there a solution anywhere in all this? Yeah, we get back rule of law by enforcing law, force. That's the police. It starts with one arrest at a time. Please, officer, your duty is to arrest criminals, thieves and public defecators and hopped up drug fiends and psychos who commit assault with the deadly weapon of a hammer. Scum politicians and appointed bureaucrat lawyers forbid such arrests. So that's a problem also that needs to be solved. You stupid, stupid voters. So single arrests and mass arrests at one protest after another. Blocking bridges is insurrection. Defunding the police is sedition. Use a gun, go to jail. Carry a sign that says, I am Hamas, and go to jail. I am Al-Qaeda. I am ISIS. I am a terrorist. I am Hamas. Too stupid for words. Okay, believe them. It is a terrorist threat. Where's a Homeland Security Patriot Act when you need one? Of all the clueless protests we have seen over the decades, anti-Vietnam War and anti-nuke and anti-G8, anti-Iraq war, pro-abortionism, pro-illegal alien invasion, Occupy Wall Street and climate and BLM, blame of all of them. This, this, anti-Israel, anti-Jew, anti-Semitic, pro-terrorist Hamas protests. This is the most evil. 
also can have those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians.